This is a Patent Trail Treehouse. The charm of this North Carolina Airbnb is evident from the moment you walk the gravel path and cross the swinging bridge. As you open the door, you're greeted by a welcoming fireplace and a soothing playlist. Our host, Melissa Church, ensured a memorable stay with thoughtful touches such as a bottle of Biltmore wine, cinnamon rolls from a local shop, and lint chocolates. We got the chance to talk to her and ask her about the history of the treehouse and how she reacted when it blew up on Airbnb. Hello, everybody. I'm here with Melissa Church, and she and her husband uh, built this tree house. And today we're going to hear about how this wonderful location came to be. So welcome, Melissa. Thank you very much. Could you tell us how you conceived of this property? Of this. Yeah. I purchased this property uh, just out of college. Um, mm. It actually borders my family's property. Okay. Uh, my grandparents lived here. My parents, my aunts, uncle, everyone lived mm -hmm. on my family. So. We all lived in the same area and I played on this area. My brother and I played and my cousins mm -hmm. on this property when we were young. So we had all kind of forts and oh, cool. um, kind of makeshift tree houses that we built mm -hmm. and all the trails through the woods were kind of what we did all summer. The property came available and my parents had mentioned that it was on the market and so I decided mm -hmm. to buy it. <laughs> we built the house and my children <laughs> uh, started playing on the same uh, you know, the same property that I played on when I was young. From the time my oldest son was was young, he was constantly trying to do tree houses and, okay. and forts. And in fact, through the woods, there's still forts built everywhere around. Oh, how fun. We finally decided to do it, but we wanted it to be close enough to our house that because I am a little overprotective of yeah. the boys that mm -hmm. I could still hear them see them um, right. if if I needed to. So we built the tree house. They loved it and played in it for probably a year and then they were over it <laughs> so you're like i just built this thing i yeah. spent all this time yes. and you're done yes. after a yeah. year yeah <laughs> they were over it at that point we decided that we would make it a little kind of a romantic getaway for mm -hmm. i have lots of friends from that live outside the area okay and so that they could come visit and my husband and i could come and that's how that's how it started so then i uh, painted everything white mm -hmm. and Everyone flipped out that I had yeah. ruined the, the wood. But once the whole design oh, came yeah. together, yeah. they were all happy with it. Would so. you call this farmhouse chic? Farmhouse luxury? Or what um, What would the style be called? I'm not really sure, honestly. I really uh -huh. don't know. I just see things that I like. I like to find unusual things yeah. that yeah, that maybe you wouldn't find in other places. I do a lot of shopping. We've got a lot of little towns around Asheville that have mm -hmm. little, little resale shops and antique stores and things uh -huh. like that. When it is in process of coming together. It looks very wrong until yeah. you get it all in here and then it kind of works. So. Right. Well, I'm assuming your years of flipping houses and everything certainly helped with updating this particular space and putting so. everything together. I, I think so. And I, I have to give credit to my mom too. My mom, mm -hmm. she's uh, she lives for decorating and uh -huh. shopping. And so a lot of times my mom will Send, in fact, she'll send me text messages. Do you like this? She, she loves to go out and uh -huh. and go to all the little stores off the beaten path that most people wouldn't go to, and she'll find all kind of cool little things and send me pictures. And then she always <laughs> helps put it together. Oh, once nice. we, um, yeah. So we've got a, a couple of houses in Buncombe County, and um, mm -hmm. she helped with all of the de decorating there. Mm -hmm. And about once a year, I'll go in and change out everything, and she helps with all of that too. So, oh wow, yeah, she, and she also does helps with all of her landscaping. So she's also a flower wow. person. So. Oh, very yeah. cool, very yeah. cool. Because the landscaping <laughs> leading up to the she, tree house is like gorgeous. Thank you. you. Know? We're very lucky too that a lot of this property, all of the 14 acres, have the rhododendron and the, the mountain yeah. laurel. Oh, oh. and you guys yeah. came the perfect time when things are blooming too. So uh -huh. all these are blooming right, and it's this is my favorite time of year when things are blooming. How many trees? do you have on the property oh wow you know honestly mm -hmm. there it, there's trails everywhere this time of year sometimes it's hard to see where the trails are because everything is growing up so much right. and we don't our kids don't play on the property as much as they used to uh -huh. oh, so yeah, it's yeah. hard I kind of know where they are and it, mm -hmm. but right now it's uh, hard to see but there's trails all through the woods up, okay. on, up on the mountain oh, there's all up there and you've had this property for seven years oh it took a long time to build so probably seven total from the time we started until mm -hmm. until now and yeah. did you expect such a response honestly <laughs> no i did not we thought maybe it might rent weekends in the summer yeah, maybe in in the fall, especially when the leaves. I mean, it's a gorgeous mm -hmm. view from here. Yeah, um, in in the fall, but no, we didn't really think it would be as <laughs> overwhelming. Mm -hmm. I think 
the first night I listed it on Airbnb, within an hour, I'd already had like 20 bookings. Oh. And I thought, maybe this is just a fluke thing. It's just strange. Mm -hmm. It just happened like that. But it, from there, it just... It just kind of took off and it's wonderful and it's we get people from all over the world honestly coming here oh, which wow. is great the guests are they have the property we don't come yeah you know, we don't even walk up past the driveway oh, portion we just oh, don't it's just uh -huh. one of those things that this is their area when they're here it's right. private we booked this tree house a year ago <laughs> so because we were looking for a time to come here in the preferably springtime so when i checked airbnb and i found this place because we were going to the biltmore that's when I realized, oh wow. So I booked in and decided, well, I'll get a surprise in a year. So here we are. <laughs> and now when I check, it's like there are dates available, but it is solidly booked. It, it yeah. is. It uh, At one point we were booked out about 12 months. It was solid. Yeah. Now we do still get a lot of cancellations because mm -hmm. things come up. And yeah, you know, when yeah. you book that far in advance, you know, it, things happen. People get sick breakups, yeah, all that good stuff. Right, Cause yeah. there's a lot of, a lot of that. Also with COVID, because we were shut down for right. uh, three months, maybe with COVID, mm -hmm. we weren't able to, to host the backlog from those people then filled up the calendar. Yeah. So it, yeah, uh, it we sense. were, yeah, we were really, really solidly booked there for a while. When people come to the area, what mm -hmm. are the things that you recommend? In the beginning, we always recommended Catawba Falls. I mean, mm -hmm. that's our favorite hike and it's just very close to here. Close right now. It's closed right now, unfortunately. Possibly closed through most of next year um, while they complete the improvements. There's a lot of hiking around in Old Fort. There's Point Lookout Trail. They just opened up a lot of new trails up off of Mill Creek. There's a lot of mountain biking in the area. Oh, wow. A lot of mountain biking. Mm -hmm. Our favorite place to go, actually, is we, we tend to go to Black Mountain a lot, which is just 10 minutes okay. up the mountain. We go there for, for food and for shops and that kind okay. of thing. And we're also 20 minutes, 25 minutes. I drive a little too fast, but um, <laughs> 25 minutes mm -hmm. to Asheville. So mm -hmm. um, we are you know, close to Biltmore House and downtown Asheville and right. everything else. We're also 15 minutes to Marion if you head east yes. on 40. And Marion's a great town. Did you guys go? We just went and they were having the, the big foot. Yes. You did know, you festival. do it? We did. I bought a t-shirt. Oh, nice. Yeah. It was <laughs> like a huge festival. We were shocked. We're like, yeah. Wow. Bigfoot? We had it's, no idea. <laughs> yeah, well, it's one of those things that kind of creeps up on us. We didn't realize it was yesterday either. I th a lot of local people do it, but there are a ton of people that come in from all over mm -hmm. um, that do it. And it's it's only been happening for a few years now, but it's wow. huge. It is yeah. it's turning into a really big thing. So. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Lots of vendors, I think. They there are lots of vendors. Yeah. They had, you know, music. Uh -huh. So live music. Lots of, Very nice. You know, well, I'm Ooh. glad you guys got to see it. That's awesome. Today Very we're much. off to Chimney Rock. Oh, perfect. So we're going to go. Okay, the drive to Chimney Rock is just amazing. Oh, uh, the, oh, I love it. It's one of my favorites. Mm -hmm. It's just one of those drives that you can roll the windows down and it, there's usually not a ton of traffic until you actually get into the Chimney Rock, Lake Lure. Make sure you go towards Lake Lure too and see okay. the lake. Okay. And, um, there's a great little bridge area that you can, it's a boardwalk thing, I think they call it, right. with flowers and mm -hmm. it's lots of nice little restaurants mm -hmm. up there. And, oh, yeah. yeah. Well, yeah. thank you very much for taking thank the time you. to stop by. Thank you. It's been a pleasure meeting share with everybody. You. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, you too as well. Thank you. Uh, we love it. Thank and you. We will Wonderful. leave links for you with all their information mm -hmm. down below. So be sure to check them out. And thank there we you. go. Perfect. <laughs>